The I-2506 is a 6-inch commercial grade rotor from Hunter. We're going to discuss a few of the features of this rotor, we'll also change out a nozzle and make some adjustments. I'm Dwayne Smith, your Sprinkler Warehouse Product Specialist. Let's get started. I-2506 is a commercial grade rotor with a 6-inch pop-up height and a 1-inch inlet. And it has a stainless steel riser which adds extra strength and durability. It has a watering distance of 40 to 71 feet. If you're used to working with residential rotors, you'll recognize that this is a significant step up from residential watering distances. The distance you get out of the rotor depends on which nozzle you've installed and how the adjustment screw is set. This rotor has a flow rate of between 3.8 gallons per minute all the way to 31 and a half gallons per minute. Once again, that's a significant step up from residential rotors. It has a non-strippable drive, which means a longer lasting, more resilient rotor. The I-25 also has automatic arc return. If someone cranks the turret out of position, it will automatically return to its prior setting. This prevents wasting water and prevents having to reset the pattern. The I-25s also conveniently have both part and full circle arcs in one rotor. That is, when you adjust the rotor to turn 360 degrees, it goes around in a continuous circle without reversing. The arc is adjustable from 50 to 360 degrees. The I-25 series comes with a check valve installed. Check valves prevent low head drainage. When a zone of your irrigation system has a slope, a check valve will prevent water from draining from your system through the lowest sprinkler head once the zone shuts off. So this helps to prevent water wastage, pooling, and erosion. The check valve on an I-25 rotor works with up to 10 feet of elevation difference. This rotor comes with this set of nozzles. There are additional nozzle choices for this rotor also available. Let's talk about the adjustments you can make on this rotor. Right here is where you set your range adjustment screw. That screw also holds the nozzle in place. You'll use a hunter rotor tool like this one to adjust it. Use the metal end to pierce through the membrane right there. This is your arc adjustment socket. Use the plastic part of the rotor tool to adjust that. And this right here is the lifting socket. Use the plastic end of the hunter rotor tool for that. Let's head outside and make some adjustments. Insert the plastic end of the rotor tool into the lifting socket, quarter turn, and pull up. We're using a nozzle insertion collar, which makes this job a lot easier. Use the metal end of the hunter rotor tool, back out the range adjustment screw, use a pair of needle nose pliers to pull out the nozzle, insert the new nozzle, Screw back down the range adjustment screw. Now with the water going, use the range adjustment screw to set your watering distance. You want the spray from this rotor to reach the next rotor over. To make adjustments to the arc, insert the tool into the arc adjustment slot. You can turn the turret back and forth to see how the arc is set. Turn clockwise to increase the arc and counterclockwise to decrease the arc. And that is the I-2506 by Hunter. Order your I-25s on sprinklerwarehouse.com today. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.